Hello and thank you for watching today's assembly video. In today's video, we're going to assemble and show you how to install the Universal Weather Canopy. This Universal Weather Canopy is very easy to install. It comes with an instruction guide, which you should follow along with, or you can use this video. Simply begin to remove the contents from the bag that the weather canopy comes in. You're gonna find the canopy itself, two 90 degree angle rails, and two rails that are shorter with brackets attached to them, and then the two longer rails that are used to adjust the height. They might be disconnected when you get them in the bag, or they might come together, but you should see all of the contents shown on the screen here. Make sure that you have the right brackets. The brackets used here are the standard brackets, which work with up to one inch squared tubing for the armrest. As shown here, this armrest has square tubing and the brackets simply go right around that square tubing. It's about three quarters of an inch thick on this model, which it's a go-go endurance. Once you put those two clips around the armrest rails, the square tubing rails, you would then get the back brace that would connect to that mounting bracket. You would need to detach the nut and the bolt and then reattach it through the holes. It's very easy to do, but you will need an extra set of hands if you don't have the dexterity to do it on your own. Uh, as you can see here, we're using our hand to support that back rail up while we're lining up the holes on the mounting brackets, both on the armrest side and on the actual canopy frame side. Go ahead and put those bolts onto the nuts, just finger tight at first, and then get an 11 millimeter socket as well as a pair of pliers to tighten the nut and the bolt. You will want to tighten it all the way, but be careful not to over tighten it and potentially strip or crack the mounting brackets. Uh, again, rinse and repeat for the bottom side and, and pay attention to the height of the first canopy frame rail that you install. You want to make sure if you're working with the right canopy uh, bracket first, then when you install the left set of canopy brackets and the mounting frame on the left side, that you're installing it at the same height so that you don't have a canopy top frame that's crooked. So as you can see here, we're just taking the brackets from the left canopy frame that were attached to the frame of the canopy and we're now attaching those armrest brackets to the armrest tubing here, the square tubing. We do have optional brackets for larger armrest tubing as well as circular brackets for armrests that are circular and not squared, which you can inquire about by calling our toll-free line. But as you can see, the process is pretty straightforward. Before tightening the left set of brackets, I'm just checking the height here to make sure that they're about as high or as low as the ones on the right. In this case, I had to lower it just a little bit to get them to be about even. Again, this is gonna prevent the rooftop canopy from being uneven, and I'm just tightening the nut and the bolt at this point to ensure that it's secure, being cautious to not over tighten, but again, you don't want it too loose, otherwise your canopy frame won't be sturdy. Now the next step is to locate the U-shaped railing that's part of the canopy frame. It's along the top and that's what holds the roof together. You're gonna to wanna to grab the 90 degree frame pieces that attach to the roof and to the base poles that we just installed to the armrest. There's gonna be a wider piece of that pole stuck to the bottom of one side and that's what's going to be used to join the bottom part of the frame to the top as shown here. Once you have the two 90 degree angled pieces installed and the canopy installed it's just time to secure the fabric. If you're five feet or lower in height then you could just simply attach the bungee cords here to the armrest as shown by wrapping it around the bottom part once and then coming back through the top loop and fishing it through to create a little bit more tension. So again, we're just gonna take that bungee and we're gonna show you how to fish it through again in case it ever becomes detached. Simply make a loop and pull it through, then grab the bungee, wrap it around the bottom, and just basically loop it through once on the loop you create by pulling it back up just to ensure that the canopy fabric is nice and tight. Now, if you're tall and you try to get in your scooter and you realize it's just not tall enough, like Chuck here is demonstrating. You just simply need to release the bungee cords and adjust the height, which is pretty easy to do. If you'll notice towards the bottom side of the frame, there are two little pieces of metal that are wrapped in some sheeting. You'll wanna bend that out, kind of like a twist tie for a loaf of bread, and pull it right out on both sides. 
that's going to basically allow the frame to move up and down and it's going to create a stopping point with that piece of wire so when you remove that piece of wire you'll see that the canopy frame just kind of slides down and there's another hole for that wire up higher and if you pull the canopy frame up just enough to where you see the inside part of that frame going up on the sleeve and passing the point of the second hole you'll want to just go ahead and reinstall that wire through that hole located up higher this will allow the canopy frame to sit at a higher point and all you want to do is just rinse and repeat on the other side as you can see we're raising the canopy frame uh, and exposing the hole here and seeing that the top part of the frame kind of reaches past the hole so you can slide that wire in once you wrap that wire around just be careful that the sharp part of that wire is not pointing out and then grab the bungee and just wrap it you don't actually need to loop it around now and as you can see the canopy frame is much taller and chuck is able to sit in there comfortably one thing to also notice is that on the back of the canopy fabric there is a removable cover so that airflow can pass through the back of the fabric it makes it a little bit better in the warmer state we offer this canopy tax-free shipping is free at mobilitydirect.com thank you for watching this video please don't forget to comment like or subscribe if you found this video helpful and want to get notified when new ones come out just like it